<clears throat> Welcome in everybody today. We are going to be talking about what is going on inside AEW. We're going to jump right into this because a major store has left AEW. That major store being one of the founders of AEW. And I quote this from Tony Khan. This is the news that I woke up to today at 10 a.m. to. And I quote, Cody and Brandy Rhodes were in integral to the launch of All Elite Wrestling. Cody's ability combined with his boldness and his passion for our industry and his love for the community outreach helped AEW deliver on our mission to give fans what they needed for, for far too long. Something new. Innovative and last and lasting. Brandy helped us shape the AEW story, and I appreciate how hard she fought for us, both in the ring and out of the ring, competing in the women's division while advancing our efforts at inclusion and civic causes, including great partnerships with Culture City and American Heart Association. I have immense respect and appreciation for Cody and Brandy, and I wish them both the best as they move on from AEW. Thank you, Cody and Brandy. Tony Khan. This is flipping huge news. Anyone who's trying to undersell this, or anyone who's looking at this just kind of going, eh, you know, it is what it is. No, you do not understand the importance of this because it's not like it is someone like a, a, a Big Swole who has left, or a Leo Rush who is leaving, uh, or, or a Brian Cage. Cody Rhodes, the founder a man who made AEW possible, along with Tony Khan, along with the Young Bucks, along with Kenny Omega. He is a staple. He is a pillar, if you will, inside AEW. And he has he has decided to leave. Now, we all know that Cody has been a free agent for the past couple of months. So much so everyone knew that everybody thought he was going to be a surprise entrance inside the Royal Rumble at the WWE event. Didn't happen. So here's the thing. We know what happened. But why did it happen? What made Cody Rhodes decide that he didn't want to stay in AEW any longer or he wanted to, to move out? According to Andrew Andrew. Zarian, there was a big dispute over Cody and Brandy's contract, and all parties could not come to an agreement on the financial side. It was a financial dispute. We see this all the time. It happens inside WWE quite a bit. Now, it also saying that Tony Khan uh, taking more control over the booking and and just taking more control in general of AEW. We know that the EVPs, which was the Young Bucks, Omega, and Cody, had lost a lot more of the power uh, to Tony Khan, who Tony Khan decided he wanted to be more of a hands-on GM of AEW, and there's nothing wrong with that. So there's a chance that Cody Rhodes is upset about that, that, you know what, you took this away from me, you take that away from me, uh, now I want more money. And they couldn't come to an agreement, so Cody said, you know what, fine. I don't need to stay here at AEW. But what does this mean for wrestling in general, for the wrestling community? Well, it's been confirmed that by Andrew Zarian and Sean Ross Sapp and other sources that Cody Rhodes has been in talks with WWE. Now, this rumor had started back uh, before the Royal Rumble, but now it's being confirmed that they have talked. And they've talked recently as Cody Rhodes decided to leave. And though it's not officially confirmed, many believe and many people have predicted that Cody Rhodes has signed with a with WWE or is close to a deal. And he's going to come in. And he's going to be this big, huge star. And Vince McMahon is going to push him to the moon. And rightfully so. Whether you love or hate Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes is the John Cena or was the John Cena 
in AEW. I've been in the live crowd. I've been in the live audience. I've seen it. I, I've, I've witnessed it with my own eyes. F you, Cody. Cody rocks. Cody sucks. Let's go, Cody. Cody sucks. Same exact thing that people do with John Cena. He was more valuable to AEW than a lot of people realize. Not from a character standpoint, but from what he does behind the scenes. And if this rumor is true, that he has now be, is going to be with WWE, he's going to return. The particle son returns. This means that he knows AEW secrets. This means that he's going to help further the reign of WWE. Now, this is not going to destroy AEW. Let me make that very clear to everybody and everyone watching this video. But what it means is, it's not going to help AEW by any means. And Cody is the first of the AEW stores. If this, if this rumor ends up being true, he will be the first of the AEW locker room, of the AEW stores, to sign with WWE. And what a signing it would be. And it would lead to other things. It would lead to other superstars saying, you know what? I'm going to leave now. I'm going to take a chance. People like the Yum Bucks. Because we all know that the elite are very close. People like MJF, who in recent years has stated that he is very interested in getting to WWE. Including Wardlow who has also been confirmed that WWE is very interested in Wardlow. Highly interested in. Kenny Omega. Who knows? Seth Rollins and him are really good friends. Let me explain this. Cody Rhodes got over on his own. Cody Rhodes left WWE with a point to prove, and he proved it by God. Like I said, you can love him, you can hate him, but he is a superstar inside the wrestling world. He is a main eventer inside the wrestling world. He is an entrepreneur and successful at everything that he has done. AEW is successful for what he has done. Not because of not all because of Tony Khan or, or, or Jericho or anybody. All, but Cody Rhodes played a major role in all of that. So let me make this very clear. This news is going to change this war, if, if you will, between AEW and WWE. This is a needle mover. This will hurt AEW. Like I said, it will not destroy them, but it will hurt them. Now, the AEW diehard fans may not want to admit that, but that is the truth. Yes, AEW has done fine when Cody Rhodes was off TV for however long it was and for a while. But I think there's something about Cody Rhodes that adds to AEW's product. Inside and outside the ring. Thank you all for tuning in. If you... If you like the video, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below what you think, and I'll hit you back up with some more videos this week.